Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Hey everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with the latest in my series on my all-time favorite films, and this time I'm coming at you with number 25, Big Fish. Now, I know there are a lot of people who have become detractors of Tim Burton's work, and to be honest, I actually kind of fall in that category because a lot of his later work is really not very good in my opinion. Like, I, I, I didn't like either of the Alice movies, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but, you know, the list goes on and on. Planet of the Apes, his remake of that is one of the worst things I've ever seen on film. I think it's just so god-awful. But I love Big Fish. It's it's interesting because in in some regards it's a very un-Tim Burton-y movie because it's very lush. There's lots of colors. Uh, there's lot. There's a real uh, sense of optimism to it, whereas a lot of his movies are very dark and have a great deal of like grime, and grit, and some pessimism to them. Like you know, Sweeney Todd falls into that category, um, but. Uh, I, you know, he definitely has made lots of other movies that were fairly optimistic, like Ed Wood, despite being about one of the worst filmmakers of all time, was a very optimistic depiction of that gentleman's life. And, you know, Edward Scissorhands is kind of like a mix of the two, where you have his, his, his a very cartoonish life, but uh, he also seems to be relatively happy throughout most of the movie. Uh, the Batman movies, of course, uh, have a bit of a pessimistic edge to them as well. So it's interesting how it falls into his uh, filmography. Uh, but really, the thing that it comes down to in this movie is you definitely can feel his his uh, fingers all over it. Like the scenes where it takes place, where they're in the town with like the uh, cords with all the shoes dangling from them, his casting choices, uh, the style of performances, the very um, again cartoony uh, portrayal of a lot of the scenes. But it all the it all works. Perfectly for the story that he's telling because a lot of time, you know I felt like some of the time in the past is his movies either become very uh, overly Artistic if that makes any sense like you know, I, I know a lot of people loved uh, a nightmare on Elm Street uh, Not a nightmare on Elm Street. Sorry. <laughs> a nightmare before Christmas and I fall into the category of people who like that movie as well But then you have like corpse bride to me, which was he's just trying to go back to the well and you know like the Alice the Alice in Wonderland movies it, it doesn't feel like it fits the story of the movie But it does it feels like he's just doing it to do it Whereas in this movie like it is all about this guy who if you don't know about the movie It's all about this guy who's telling the story of how he met the love of his life and how and he tells his life story in a very over-the-top unbelievable fantastical way and it all works to perfection in this movie and there's lots of moments that are kind of like where you're you know your heart will well up and you'll you'll be uh, extremely ecstatic with what you're seeing and then there's lots of mo moments that are like really visually interesting and there there's lot there's lots of touches too like where uh, like there's one mo one of my favorite moments in these entire movies where he talks about when he first meets the the girl of his dreams and how the world uh, stands still for him because of it and he, like he's walking through and there's like literally like popcorn in the middle of the air but then uh, all of a sudden when he snaps back to reality everything has been moving as long as he's there and she's long gone I thought that was such an amazing touch um, and it's, it's stuff like that that make this movie stand out so much for me and like the performances in it are, are across the board fantastic I mean Louis McGregor it has always been one of my favorite actors. I'm a big fan of Billy Crudup. Um, Albert Finney, who plays the, his character when he's older, is a, a, also a phenomenal character. Um, Jessica Tandy, I think, or Jessica Lange. Oh, who is it again? Damn it. That's brutal. But uh, she's, she's great. Um, and uh, just across the board, the acting is absolutely superior to what you see in a lot of movies but it's also it's it, the thing about it too is that, like all the performances you know I, I do see how somebody could say that they that they could feel that they aren't as good as I'm describing but because I don't think that they necessarily get get what the movie was going for these are not supposed to be grounded performances they, they're supposed to be um, performances that feel very 
shiny and happy and uh, but also get mired in muck as well and I feel like that is absolutely what takes place in this movie I, I just feel like this movie has pr pretty much a bit of everything from like the emotional uh, canvas of things that you could possibly take and I absolutely love the movie for it uh, so those are my thoughts on Big Fish if you've seen the movie let me know in the comments below if you are as big a fan as I am if you are a hater if you feel like it's meh uh, you don't really have an opinion at all let me know in the comments below please hit that like button it does marvelous things for my channel gets it in front of people that may not have uh, discovered it otherwise and if you're new to my channel hit subscribe I love talking to you guys about movies and I'd love to be able to talk to you if you're one of the people who has not subscribed yet so other than that have yourself a nice day